Hey fancy beauties and bows. Welcome back to the channel. Um y'all know me. Ain't nobody but you know. Um whew. I'm coming to do this video. You guys know that I don't keep anything from you guys. Whatever I'm going through or dealing with, I kind of bring you along with me through that process so this is no different just a bit more serious than anything else um, I have COVID I was diagnosed or received my test results um, maybe three days ago maybe four days ago so forgive me if I'm a little bit out of breath that's been one of my symptoms um, I'm not gonna divulge where I got it from because that's not important <clears throat> I um my symptoms have been just uh, fatigue, um, shortness of breath. It started out with nausea, coughing, through that cough um, where it was hard to catch my breath. Um, diarrhea, chills, like super, um, it'll go from hot to super cold, um, so, um, I just wanted to come through and share my experience with this. Many of you know that I have my grandsons, so that's been probably the um, part that I was most worried about, um, was bringing something home to them. So since I've been diagnosed or been given my um, test results, uh, the way I've handled that situation is I feel like God had been preparing me to prepare the boys for this without my knowledge um, of you know showing my seven-year-old um, how to prepare certain foods how to use the microwave <clears throat> um, how to use the stove so we would take turns coming out the rooms so they would stay in their room and I would come out get my food and then they would go and get their food. Of course, um, more disinfecting, um, more than normal. Um, I, I apologize for my appearance, um, but under the circumstances, this is what it is. Um, I'm not scared. Uh, was not scared. The only time that I was afraid was for the boys, like I said, and for um, my friend uh, who happens to also be uh, my babysitter for the boys. Um, 
she and her girlfriend have been tested and they came back negative. Thank God, because I was, <laughs> when I tell you I was a blubbering fool, I was so scared for them. Um, I had just been tested um, on, I say maybe, because um, I, I was out Christmas because the boys were sick. They were experiencing diarrhea, um, throwing up, um, runny nose, everything, the whole nine. So we were out from Christmas. Um, and then I think we got tested the 28th. I think I want to say it was the 28th that we, we were tested. Um, my, my, all my days are running together, so I apologize for that. Um, nevertheless, I was negative. All of us were negative. So, um, I was cleared to go back to work. I went back to work and I worked, I worked the 7th and the 8th, I was sent back home. Um, and so I had to do another, um, series of tests for the COVID and this is where we are right now. So just wanted to kind of give you a timeline of everything um, and how everything, you know, happened or whatever. Um, like I said, I was not afraid. Um, you guys, most of you that are part of the family, part of the Fancy Beauty family, you guys know that I am deeply focused in on God and whatever will be, will be. Um, my family, of course, uh, they were scared, still worried. Um, my daughter, the boy's mom, um, my oldest daughter, she's worried. My son. Um, but like I told them, I am, <laughs> I'm tough as nails, and I will get through this. The <laughs> the funny thing about it, um, and I think you guys have already seen that video where I was taking the dining room table down and psh, took a dive, took a dive, I took a big dive. Um, so coughing through that rib uh pain um it's probably the the hardest for me um right now i'm still experiencing weakness um i tried to take a shower i did take a shower um yesterday morning and um became completely um overwhelmed with being weak um, but I managed to get out I got out and you know just kind of talk myself through it um, so I can get myself dressed and then um, just sit down so um, from here on out I will be uh, taking baths instead of um, taking a shower um, but I wanted to, with giving you this information, I wanted you to be encouraged. Um, know that God is the head of your life. And He won't put anything on you that you cannot handle. Um, as cautious as I was, and as many precautions as I took, you know, wearing gloves, wearing the mask. Um, These are the top results. I, I was still infected. I, I, I was still um, chosen, <laughs> if you will, 
um, to experience COVID-19. And uh, I just, what I look at it as, just uh, experience just another uh, chapter in my life that I have to overcome. And I will overcome with the grace of God. No matter what you face, know that God is not going to leave you. Know that he's a part of every step that you take in life. Know that within your heart of hearts that you are not alone. Whatever fight you have to fight, he is with you through that fight. He is with you in that battle. He is with you through those trials and tribulations. And he won't leave you. And that's what I hold on to going through this. My case is not as serious as those that have encountered this COVID-19. I thank God that I did not and do not have to go into the hospital um, just from going trying to get my ribs looked at I really and truly thank God uh, I give the utmost respect to the health care workers um, they are stressed out they are at their wits end and some of them unfortunately have forgotten how to be compassionate to those that are suffering from other illnesses besides COVID-19. And I'm going to leave that right there. So, if you know anyone that is going through COVID-19, give them encouragement. And I know that you are. Give them so much encouragement that they don't even have time to even think about the fact that they are going through this battle with COVID-19. I want you all to be careful. I tell you that in all the videos when I end them, but I need you to heed that warning as much as you can because this new strand is supposed to be much deadlier. Um, and I don't want any of you guys or anyone else to have to deal with this. Um, the vaccine is here. That is a personal choice if you want to take that vaccine. If you don't want to take it, those are personal choices. And I'm not here to advocate that. I'm here to advocate the power of God. That's what I'm here to advocate and to give strength and encouragement and a sense of urgency to look after each other. When you're out in the grocery stores and you in Walmart and you're, you know, doing whatever errands that you need to run, please make sure that you use the mask. Some of us feel like it's trivial to use it, but you just don't know when your number is coming to have to go through this. I was an advocate and still will be an advocate for wearing the mask whether it's supposed to work or not supposed to work. We don't know what this thing is. We don't know how they made it, how strong they made it, but you have to protect yourself, protect your family, protect your brethren and your sister. You have to do this. This this thing is no joke. Even though it's man-made, it's not a joke. It's taking people out left and right. People are getting sick left and right. Everyone says, oh, are you going to get it in? anyway? Everybody's going to end up with it. That's not a healthy way to look at things. 
And it's not common sense to look at things like that. So I beg of you to please, please use the mask. Stay home if you don't need to be out. The partying, the, the gatherings, those have to come to a halt until we get this thing under control. And as and far as things going back to normal before COVID-19, that time is gone. God has something else in store for us. And if you want to see the other side of it, you got to keep him first. So, in, in closing on this video, my fancy beauties and bows, anyone that's coming through here that are not a part of the family, thank you for coming through. Stay encouraged. Stay safe. Stay focused on God. Stay loving on each other. And just don't play with this. Please don't play with this. I thank you for listening. And I will see my fancy beauties and bows in another video to come. I love you. And stay safe.